all right all right ladies and gentlemen you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show the truth with ben jokes now the apc have shown in very clear terms that only protests nationwide protests can get nigeria working again ever since nigerians announced the date of commencement of the end bad governance nationwide protest the apc politicians have been panicking as I speak to you, our sources in Ogun and Lagos State say a lot of underground work is going on to try to discourage Yoruba Southwest in general from protest. Their biggest confusion is that the Igbos, at least over 85% of Igbos have opted out of the protest. Yet, preparations for the protest remain unwavering. Now, they can no longer call it an Igbo protest. They have tried and failed to convince northern youths to stand down and now they have moved to mountain pressure on southwest and north central youths north central forum days ago claimed that they won't be protest in their own zone and the youths of the zone told them to shut up they told the forum members to shut up that what do they know about the hardship nigerians are going through and hours ago lawmakers were seen almost wetting their pants begging nigerians not to protest these are clear indications that protest is the solution to the problems of this country i just pray that southwest youths will not sell out i have never seen nigerian lawmakers speak with so much fear of the unknown the heat is really on before i show you the video of those lawmakers begging nigerians not to protest and how nigerians reacted let me quickly show you this update first it was APC Governor of Bruno State, Governor Baba Gana Zulum, who came out yesterday to beg the people of Bruno State not to join the nationwide protest. And today, APC Governor of Nanja State, Governor Muhammadu Bago, has also joined in. He is saying that protests will not hold in Nanja State. But the people of Nanja came and told him, Oga, speak for yourself. We are going out to protest. Look at how the papers reported it. We won't be part of nationwide protest. Bago, Niger State Governor Muhammad Umaru Bago, has said that the youths in the state will not join the planned nationwide protest against hunger and economic hardship starting from the end of this month. He described the youths of the state as peaceful, law-abiding, and therefore have no reason to participate in the organized protest. The governor made this declaration during a town hall meeting with stakeholders held at the Justice Legbo Kutigi Conference Center in Mina, Niger State Capital, on Thursday. Dialogue is the best way towards solving problems. We as youths of Niger State have distanced ourselves from the nationwide protest because we are peaceful and want peace and tranquility. If we start demonstration, it cannot solve the problem and the demonstrations will continue, but dialogue and understanding is the only answer. So to youths who are agitating for this protest, let us end this agitation. Let us communicate and dialogue on the best way forward, Bago advised. The Etsu Nupe and chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers of Niger State, Alhaji Abubakar Yaya, had also called on the people, especially the youths, to distance themselves from the proposed protest, saying, Protest is not a way to go and not the best way to solve a problem. And I therefore urge the youth not to participate in the planned nationwide protest. Speaker of the House of Assembly, <laughs> Abdul Malik Sarikin Daji, in his address, also called on the youth not to be part of the protest, saying the state will organize programs for the youth to engage in while others are protesting in other states. Governor Bago said, Government was aware of the hardship being experienced in the country, adding that all steps are being taken to cushion the effect on the people, especially in the state. Can you see how they are all panicking, dropping like a pack of cards? Traditional rulers, speaker of uh, state assembly, governor, all of them panicking, asking the people not to protest. And since they are sitting on their high horse and we are where we are, we know that whatever they say, the opposite is the truth. So since they say that protest is not the way, you should know that protest is the way. But look at how the people of Niger State responded. Let's take some of the tweet reactions. 
And this tweet here by Abdullahi Aliyu says, We didn't expect you to join this, but we, the suffering people of Niger State, will be there 100%. That is it. Who is expecting you, a governor, to come out for protest? This guy here, Temu, posted a picture of you kneeling down here, holding the hands of Tinubu. Yes, you wine and dine with them, so nobody was expecting you to come and join any protest. He said, we the youths are not going to protest. Stop fooling yourself, man. And this tweet here by Comrade Abala says, how will you be part since you have no issue regarding to the hardship people are in? You don't have any hardship issue. You stay inside your car and you throw money in a moving vehicle so that people can die in stampede trying to grab 500 naira and 200 naira. Eh? You, you are not part of the protest now. The protest is against you and your likes. And this tweet by Omar Abdul Mutalib says, it doesn't involve you and your own family. The rest of the people of Nanja who lost families to bandits or who are deliberately forced to hunger will not look at you or listen to you. Mm. What a shame. A governor who does not know what his people feel. And this tweet by Ibrahim Mohamed said, time will tell. Keep running your mouth that we should not come out. Let the time come. Then you'll see whether we'll come out or not. And this tweet by Abdul Wahab says, nobody invited you to the protest and we will do it. No going back. You saw that. The fear of a revolution is real. Even though the people have said it is going to be a peaceful protest, these APC governors fear that it will degenerate into full-blown chaos because they know how poor and angry they have made the people. We have seen how afraid the governors are. Now let us see how afraid the lawmakers are in this video. Check it out. To the people of Nigeria, you are crying is right. Your complaint of hardship is right. But is the solution found in carrying placard and lining the streets? Is the solution found in copying a country lesser than us? The references that are made today to Kenya and all the rest of them, they are smaller country to Nigeria. We are giant of Africa. We must prefer solution that is better and sustainable and lasting. That solution is not found in our children being killed on the street while protesting. It's not found in our raising placard. It's found in supporting the policies of government and understanding that these policies need time to begin to materialize. Moving that we amend that prayer to include that members sacrifice uh, maybe 50% of our salary for a period of three months or six months to help Nigerians and to show that we are in support. I, I want to appeal to those that are instigating this protest because I believe there are people behind this protest. It's not that people are just doing it by themselves. And I think DSS has, a, has, a, has to work, must work hard to find if they can lay, at least be able to scout and get those people that are instigating or the leaders of these protests so that they can dialogue, we can dialogue with them. Let's talk to them. There is no any meaningful achievement in any world without peaceful coexistence. And Mr. Speaker, we know that the hunger is so, so very much that we just have to do something about it. We cannot tell them not to come and protest when we don't tell them what we intend to do. We have to have a program. We have to tell them that really Nigeria or country is going to do something about this. You saw that. What a disgusting video. Cringeworthy, to say the least. Deputy Speaker Ben Kaludie, he must think that Nigerians are fools. So because we are more in population than Kenya, we cannot protest like them? What meaning does that statement even make? He said the solution is not to protest. Does he know the kind of reforms Kenya has witnessed as a result of that protest? He said he doesn't want youths killed on the streets in the name of protest. So who is going to kill protesting youths now? Deputy Speaker Ben Kalu. If you and your fellow thieves don't order police and soldiers to shoot at protesters, 
who is going to shoot at them? So if your plan is to ask soldiers to shoot protesters, then tell us. Start telling us your plans now. And he said, the only solution is to support government policies. It will take time. Let's just support the policies, the same policies that are killing us. But I don't blame him. He drives an SUV worth 160 million naira, which came as a result of those policies. So he has every motivation he needs to back the policies. And the Hajia that spoke is already asking DSS to look for organizers of the protest. She said she knows the people are not acting on their own, that they are being sponsored. In other words, Nigerians are too stupid. We are too foolish to demand better lives. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Let's take some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here by Omar Badeshino says, These guys are already wetting their pants. The only way out is to protest and let them feel the heat. They are not going to provide any solutions to the hunger in the land. That is clear for anybody with a brain to see. They don't have any plan to, to, to provide any solution to this hunger. And if the people back down now, oh, the suffering will increase. And this tweet by Omoy Giade says, I see fear in the air. You mean sleeping giant, right? It will shock you guys. We better shock them. And this tweet by Olumui Wahie says, Drowning in the ocean of fear. The protest is not for the youths alone. Expect the unexpected. That is it. What are elderly people in their 40s and 50s even doing at home? Everybody should get, get out there and get on the streets. It is the docility of their generation that caused this whole problem. Get out there on the streets. And this tweet by Abubakar S. Muhammad says, But protest was the solution when Buhari, Tinubu and others protested in the past. Rubbish. That is it. They have suddenly forgotten that it was protest that brought APC to power. Now they are saying that protest is not the solution. And this tweet here says, The fear is already written over them. This protest must hold. The protest must hold. The protest must hold. And Emid Young here says, Protest is democratic. Why are they afraid? As opposition, APC didn't waste time going on the streets. That is it. Nigerians must know that the time is now or never. If they jeer up like this and back down at the end of the day, this suffering will multiply. Anyway, make I leave I'm here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news. Where will I go like? Why? Because now, because of now, now I day here. So don't go. <laughs>